Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm Drew Backy. I'm the host of the show. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for the few minutes a week you give me and my show. Today, we have a special segment dedicated to the stimulus bill, some updates regarding the merchandise, and of course, our standard weekly political coverage. Stay tuned. Let's kick off today's episode with our standard segment. So this week, the Senate passed the $1.9 trillion stimulus aid package. Unusually, however, the stimulus package must now pass the House again before it ends up on the president's desk for signing. The reason for this is that before passing the Senate, key parts of the original bill that passed in the House were changed. Thus, it now has to repass the House. In the week's other news, President Biden signed an executive order that lifted voting restrictions in Georgia. In the past few days and weeks, the Georgia state government has slowly been adding restrictions to voting. The president lifted many of those when he signed his executive order. Voting restrictions are a mess. It's in the Constitution that every American citizen has the right to vote, no matter what their age, gender, or economic status. There is no law that was ever passed that said a person can only vote if they come from a certain background or if they have money. No, no such law was ever passed because it is written in the Constitution that every person can vote if they are a citizen. Now, all of us know that the Constitution says that So why is it that time and time again, cities and towns have tried to restrict this age-old, well-loved act? The reason for that is because some city officials have realized that if they let a certain demographic vote, they might be out of a job. But they also know that they can't blatantly restrict voting because that would be unconstitutional. So this is what they did. First, they started by shutting down voting places on Sundays. Their excuse for that was that Sunday is for the church, not politics. Then, they shut down polling places and moved mailboxes due to, quote-unquote, lack of use. After that, they shut down polling places in low-income, mainly African-American neighborhoods. Their excuse this time was that the land those polling places were taking could now be used for apartments or housing. But now, with the President Biden's stimulus package, some of those people will be able to move out of those low-income communities and move into better housing. And with the stimulus bill comes better housing, and thus more voting. This brings us to our next segment. What is the stimulus bill? So the stimulus bill, which we briefly referred to in the last episode, is a $1.9 trillion aid package for Americans and small businesses suffering from the worst effects of the pandemic. It is the brainchild of President Biden, and he has been planning and working on it since he became president-elect. He has worked with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, and he finally got a pass through a heavily divided Senate. So what is this stimulus bill? Let's take a closer look. So the stimulus bill is a solid piece of legislature, and I mean a really solid piece. It quickly and efficiently gets the money to the people who need it the most. The rest of the money will be divided up between struggling businesses, schools, and private citizens who don't need it as much, but still need it. The idea is that getting large checks put to the people who need it the most will help bring struggling families back from the brink. Back to the newsroom. Before I end today's show, I want to tell you about our clean and fresh designs that are up now on the Week in Washington store. We have some very fresh designs that went up a few weeks ago. The new merch includes phone cases, face masks, and die-cut stickers that you can put anywhere you want. To get your hands on this merch, remember to hit the link in the description. Also know that all profits could make better content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this installment. Now, if you all could do me a favor and hit that red button underneath your screens that says uh, subscribe. Yeah, that one. Thanks. That's our show. Good night.